Hi. My name is Tony. <laughs> I'm Tony Lynn. I'm Stuart. I'm Tucker. And I'm Morgan. <laughs> so today, tonight, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, so whatever you want to call it. We're doing um, an advice video of the opposite sex. So the girls are going to ask the guys questions and the guys are going to ask the girls some questions. Yep. So are y'all ready for this? Sure. Let's do it. The first question, we're going to ask the guys. How do you know if a guy is into you? If he's like actively pursuing you, if he's the one starting conversations, if he's the one texting you and you know, you know wanting to hang out with you. If he's you, the one trying. Exactly. You know, if he's the one trying to He was a hit. He's into you. I mean some guys some guys, I mean I'll be honest, like they're just really, really nervous. Uh, you know, and so it may just take them you know, it may just be like, Man, like I really just don't know what to text you know, text to her right now. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and they could just be really nervous and it could just take them a while. So it doesn't, it's not, you know, not everything's cut and dry. You know, it's not a, you know, oh, if they don't do this, then they're definitely not into you. You know, right. and so. And for me, if a guy texts me, like, I hate texting. Like, some people just like that. Like, I'd rather, much rather talk to someone in person than text Face them. Me. What about, uh, what about, like, phone calls? What about that? Like, like, what, what if you're just talking to what a person? I love talking calls. on the phone. Like, you know, and then all of a sudden, yeah, like, what if, texting. you know, you're just talking to a person and, you know, like nothing serious, yeah, and then they out of the blue they just call you. I think that's cool. You think that's cool? Yes. Okay. Next question. Guys, how do you feel about yoga pants? Okay. 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 Y'all yes. wear like Hugs. like five things and that's it. In the winter, y'all wear yoga pants and like those long sleeve shirts. Um like and, and Nike line. yeah, and Nike shoes. Like y'all all have a pair of Nike shoes. Either Nike shoes or and, uh, Hugs boots. I'm not saying that it looks bad. I'm yeah, just saying just, you might just want to try your, you know, try the, some diff diversify. Exactly. Just kind of be different. Yeah. But also stand what out. Don't be too different though. Don't what you're that, describing like, is like everyone at school. You know, like people want to be comfortable at school. Yeah, I understand people that. Have to dress up if they don't want to. Yeah, yeah it's not a matter of dressing yourself. up or just dressing down though. It's just being different from everybody else. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of comfortable stuff that looks that looks just as good as yoga pants or other stuff like that. Next question: How do we feel about cheating? How do we feel about that? Don't Talk do it. it. Take it away. It's like, for example, someone cheated on you. How would you handle it? Would you want to be with that person, or would you want to like try to work it out, or would you like? I would hell? definitely have to work it out. To begin really? with Most definitely. So you think that? Cheating, you think that people can work it out? Possibly. I mean, I mean it all depends on the, their situations too. Like how a person cheated. Like, so. like, give us an example. Alright, can I give an example? Yeah. Alright, for example, if I feel like if people are married and they have a kid and there happens to be cheating, I feel like they should try to work it out because it's not just them For in the situation. Yeah. They yeah. also have to think about their child. They can't be selfish like about the situation and think about just themselves because there's also a kid involved. But if it's like a teenage or like college relationship and someone else cheats, then I'm very strong against the fact that you shouldn't be with them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, I really second the, the whole marriage thing. Because, I mean, first, I mean, even if there's no kid, well, let's just say there's an affair or whatever, um, there's no kid, you're married. I mean, to me, marriage is a big deal. It's not just, oh, you know, let's just get married and live in the house or whatever. It, you know, like, it's a big deal. Like, you're basically saying to the person, like, you know, I'm committing myself to you for the rest of my life. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I mean, definitely in a marriage, y'all should definitely do everything y'all can, both sides, to work things out and to make stuff right. If if someone's going to be unfaithful to you in, you know, um, like before marriage, like how are you going to, like, why would you even think they'd be faithful to you after marriage? Mm -hmm. Why did girls go to the bathroom in groups? So we can gossip and talk about stuff that we can't talk about in front of the guys that are there. Yeah, well, basically. Well, y'all can like 
text. No, it's not yes. anything. It's no, not it's the same. Sometimes the stories are way too long. And we just yeah, don't have time. and it's just more fun to talk to someone in person versus like texting yeah. them. That's that's a very obvious answer. Or go to the bathroom. See genuine emotions and like. Mm -hmm. And then we go to the bathroom. Oh, my hair doesn't look good, and we have like our girlfriend to be there for us. Like, no, honey, your hair looks really good. <laughs> they just like boost our self esteem, and right. we just love our girlfriends. Like, I don't know. Why so would basically, you, why, would you, why would you go to the bathroom by yourself? That's so boring. Like, why would you go alone? <laughs> Maybe she had to drop a deuce. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> My bathroom is a lot of more support. Like, 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 oh, I look ugly. Like, no, you don't. Look. Like pushing oh it. Pushing it. <laughs> I'm, the only one talking. I'm the only one trying to have a serious conversation. We're like, here. push it real good. Just, so what are the biggest things you look for in a guy? Alright, I got it. I'm ready. Alright. Mom? She's ready. She's ready to go. They have cool. to be funny. And they have to have like good sense of humor. And they have to laugh at all of my jokes, even if they're not funny. Wow. <laughs> 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 I have to have, be able to have fun with them. Because yeah. when we get older, their looks are going to like go away. And they're going to be saggy and gross. And I just, well. I'm going to be able to laugh <laughs> with them. <laughs> Everybody's gonna get saggy. Everybody's gonna get saggy. Laughing, like, what's the point of living life if you can't laugh? Like, my answer mm -hmm. is that you definitely have to have good morals and values in life. Yeah. Because if you're all about, about like partying and drinking all the time, and I we're in college, cannot so get down we see with that. that. It bothers me so much. It's time, like yeah. guys That's just want to hook up time. with girls, have sex with girls, like drink and party oh. with girls, and like be all over them and stuff. And I just I can't get down with that. I find it very attractive when yeah, I meet a, a a woman who has a drive, you know, like who feels passionate about something, who who wants to go and accomplish something, and who just honestly, a girl can make me laugh, I guess, make me make me smile, make me happy all the time. Oh, can I say one? Yeah. I have another one. Okay. One. Well, um, I want to get married with him around twenty nine or thirty, and then we're gonna get like the puppy around. 32 and then around 35 I want to have a puppy. I want to have a son and his name is going to be Brayden. Okay, yep, that's my requirements. Mm -hmm. If anyone is out there is <laughs> Comment will... below. Brayden, yeah. Brayden I mean, she pretty much just gave everybody your life plan, so. We're if anyone else like that, then hey, I'm your girl. I'm really nice, right? No, yeah. I'm really nice. Oh, yeah. Sure. She's hot. She's nice. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Okay. Alright, you ready? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just hot. Ladies, our daddy is single. Yeah. Yep. He needs a good woman in his life. I need a good He's mom. either ready to mingle or he wants a free <laughs> Okay, here's a question that was written on here um, by, it was one of the girls, ideas. Um, it says, does it bother guys when girls do not dress up? And it, yeah, like, okay. It depends on the it, situation. It depends on the context. Yeah, it depends on the situation. Um... And there's different degrees. I mean, okay, let's, let's just yeah. explain some uh, context. Okay, like first date, okay? Um, if the guy is anything of a man, he'll take you out to a nice restaurant on the first date, not to McDonald's or, uh, I mean, he's not gonna be cheap. Um, I mean, at least try, at least like show us that, like you care. Yeah. About how, how you us. look. Exactly. Like, at least, like, show, like, hey, you know, I really, you know, I want to look good for this person. You know, don't show up in, um, booty call. I don't know, like, some. Was that my food? Did I get a booty call? I don't know. What was that? Oh, that's my booty call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, for example, like, y'all are just at school and. I mean, obviously, boyfriend girlfriends see each other a lot. Obviously. Yeah. So, I mean, don't try to. I mean, it doesn't have to be like all the time. I mean, honestly, if you want my general overall answer, is. Yes, we do. I don't so really I care that much. Like this video. Honestly, like, I don't really care that much. You know, I mean, most girls, I mean, y'all dress nice. So, I mean, y'all are pretty good in that area. So, I mean, there's hardly ever rarely a time when I'm walking around campus. And I see a girl and I'm like, dang, so like, okay, anyway. here's a song I got for the, for the ladies. How come <laughs> the female population is very notorious for taking many things that we say in the wrong way? Sometimes we expect you to say certain things and then if you don't, it's like we need confirmation. 
that's about very certain true. things. I agree. And then some people, we just, some of us, we just have low, almost, I guess, self esteem. Mm -hmm. like. And so we just automatically, like, the switch just turns to think that, man, this guy meant something, but you mm -hmm. meant complete, something completely different. Okay, so, so low self is, okay, so I'm just trying to. Replay Sometimes here. girls just need the guy to like say exactly how yeah. he feels, or we're we not the confirmation, and we need the yeah. the obvious. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. almost like we need the confirmation because if we don't get that, then we're completely lost on how the other right. person feels. I feel like people think some people might think they're annoying the other person, but you're not. Probably. Yeah, you're not annoying. I was like, at all. No, I agree. If you're a guy, if you're into someone, like girls aren't. Don't be like just. Say, so, alright, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, you know, but like, yeah, initiate. Initiate. Don't don't wait for the lady to, like, you know, give you an opener, I don't know, mm -hmm. to make the first move. Like, you make the first move. Because nothing can be bad. Nothing bad can happen if y'all are, like, standing in line and you just say, like, hey, like, turn around, hey, like, how are you today? Or something like that. Like, nothing bad can happen from that situation. Yeah. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is she, she can give you a weird, she can give you a bad look. Yeah, that's the and worst. And that's that's the worst. But you don't know really. That's, that's the worst. Okay. Life happens. That's like, the worst. And I mean, yeah, you just like, all right, please give us an example of something that goes terribly wrong from that. Like you can like say something wrong, and she might take it the wrong way, and you might get slapped or something. I don't know. Like she might take it. like... That does she, not happen often. Say there is someone, there, there's a girl that I, I'm not into, but I can tell that she's probably into me, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. You know, like, like, say, like, you know, she's texting me, you know, like, like she wants to hang out and talk or whatever. You can know. you run them down easy? Yeah, like, 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 what's the best thing to do? You know, like, what? It's, that's a more, that's a sticky situation. Mm hmm um, I mean, you want to be straight up and honest. But also, you want to be nice like, about it. You don't want to be, you don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, no, yeah, I, but, uh, I, that's, that's you don't my want to mess with their feelings, with, uh, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, well, I mean, technically, you're all messing with the feelings. But I, I honestly, wanna, like, make it worse. I feel like the only, or one of the only ways you can handle a situation like that is just to be, like, straight up. Because, I mean, if she's just asking, straight, okay, you, just to be like, if she's, if she's asking, like, you to hang out and all that stuff, then obviously y'all are, like, close, and friendships should require, like, honesty, and yeah. she's like, hey, like, I don't know about you, but I've been getting some, like, vibes and I just wanted to like clear things up for you. Okay, alright. That, that, help, that helps out. That helps out. Just be like, hey, I just want to, you know, like, just want to just want to know. I'm not sure, like, are you into me or or whatever because you know, um, I just want to, you know, make sure. I mean, yeah, it's going to be weird. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be weird. I mean, there's no way to not be awkward, I guess. are weird. Yeah. So, I mean, if y'all are like truly friends, then it'll be fine. Oh, just yeah. friends? Right. I mean, there's a way to Vincent settle it <laughs> where it, it's going to be. And that's like right. a that's the thing for like not leaving someone on. Like, I feel like you have to be straight up and honest about stuff like that. Yeah. Are your parents beggars? <laughs> because you have some really nice buns. <laughs> Babe, you look so fine. I could drink your bath water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. Do you work for Domino's? Because you have fine pizza ass. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like trash. Can I take you out? <laughs> <laughs> if you were burger at McDonald's, you'd be even gorgeous. Do you have any sunscreen? Because you were burning me up. If you were a steak, you would be well done. <laughs> Are you a butcher? You just cut my heart out and ate it. <laughs> it's so hot I could bake cookies on you. <laughs> if we're going to have sex later, you should probably be there. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to wait until midnight to see my balls drill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well, thank you so much oh, for watching this video. Um, I'm sure these guys would love to be in another video. Oh yeah. Especially oh, Stuart. Definitely. That's just Stuart. What about <laughs> Oh, okay. But, um, uh, yes, until next time, it is almost 3.30 in the morning, so we're gonna end this video. 3.15 to be exact. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Thanks right. for watching. We're going to get started. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Daddy raised me right. Dude, ow! That's my, that's my face. Raised this is right, my stepdaughter. Daddy. She's. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Push it. Oh, don't. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it.
<laughs> you can push that dump out. Dump buddy. I believe in you. Dump Tell that turd who's boss. <laughs>